Barrel roll? No, too cliche. Experience is a dramatization of real world events for the purposes of entertainment. All events and individuals within this exhibit are professional reenactments by actors. This exhibit is in no way linked to or authorized by Bruce Wayne or any member of the Wayne estate. We begin at the Arkham Asylum for the Criminally Insane. Batman had apprehended Joker like so many times before, but this night, this night was different. The maniac had prepared a trap in the midst of Batman's deadliest foes. Can you smell the excitement in the air? Ha <laughs> ha! No? Must have been one of the guards then! Croc, old boy! Is that you? I've got your scent, Batman. I will hunt you down. Joker spraying nearly every killer in Arkham. <laughs> Don't like to think about it, but uh, at least I made it out. Great night for a party! <laughs> <laughs> Some party. Batman was able to thwart Joker's schemes, but the seeds of evil planted that day would only grow. Funny thing is, we didn't even have an Arkham Asylum. We had to make do with Barkham Asylum. And it was only for dogs. Bad dogs. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We had the asylum, and boy, it got juicy in there. As a last resort, Joker used his own experimental Titan mixture. The super serum warped his body to match his twisted mind. But it wasn't enough to defeat Batman. So this is what, a third Joker? Hmm. It's like looking in the mirror at the gym in hell. Harley Quinn, once a promising young psychiatrist, she returned to the asylum to terrorize it as Joker's sidekick. If she was just the sidekick, your Joker's getup must have been skimpy. Me? I don't lace my corset that tight. Need room to laugh. Following the fall of the asylum, Gotham Skid Rows were turned into the super prison Arkham City. An urban hell, where the only rules were made by the villain ringleaders and their gangs. I know, I was on the ground, and so was Batman. The only way to get by in this place is to get ourselves some respect! Fear! That's how we get respect! Show them all how we do things! Ah, uh, you know, if you, if you pick the right side and then piss off the boss, <laughs> you're set! At least, uh, till the bat showed up anyway. Bring out the defendant! You certainly know how to keep a girl. Hanging, Harv. Court is in session. Grab him and cut him in two! Batman cleaned out Arkham City. Two-Face, Penguin, Ra's al Ghul, even the Joker. Batman's nemesis died poisoned by his own chemical compound. A tragic irony. <laughs> Just to be clear, they turned Gotham's low-income neighborhoods into a privately owned prison state. And it didn't work. <sighs> well, there goes my pitch for mayor. Professional K 
killer Deadshot was hired to assassinate several VIP targets, like myself, and Bruce Wayne and Batman. Close calls with death that night. I love this take on Deadshot. Very problematic. Batman and Joker's rivalry finally ended in Arkham City. I don't doubt Batman would have saved the maniac if he could, but the Titan poison ensured this was Joker's last laugh. Wow. This is very existential for me. I always wondered what I'd look like dead. Answer? Waxy. My Batman never held me like that. Maybe I went overboard on the chloroform? The city's darkest hour was yet to come. Gathering Batman's remaining foes into an unholy alliance, the crazed Scarecrow plunged Gotham into a waking nightmare. Welcome to Gotham, the city of fear. You thought me gone, didn't you, Batman? Lost in the waters beneath Arkham. But like all submerged forgotten fears, eventually I returned. My fire crew was trapped, but we owe Batman our lives. He just kept pushing himself past the limit. Batman turned back the tide of fear, reclaimed the city. But at what cost? In defeating Scarecrow, his identity was revealed to the world. Scarecrow? Where I come from, something like this would be considered tasteless. Whereas here, it's for kids. <laughs> similar to the vigilante, Red Hood. Who was the Arkham Knight? The mysterious figure seemed to aid Scarecrow, but vanished after his defeat. I believe his methods were very similar to the vigilante, Red Hood. Huh. Don't know this guy, but he's got a real face for crowbars. Bruce Wayne's apparent death sent shockwaves through Gotham City. It seemed unbelievable. Impossible. Batman's legacy would live on in many ways, including persistent underworld rumors of an even more fearsome vigilante. The Demon Bat. Terror of Gotham's criminals. But let me ask you, would the events you've witnessed not drive any man to a place of darkness? See, what I like is, he could have called himself Money Man, but he went with Bat. And that's a choice. Several years after faking his death, Bruce Wayne finally returned. Drawn back to the light by the metahuman superheroes from Metropolis. They asked Batman to join the Justice League. He accepted. And so, the story of Bruce Wayne, the Batman, continues. Far from the mean streets of the city that made him. I'm Jack Ryder. Thanks for taking this journey with me. Wow, they're just like us. I'd blow them right up if I could. <laughs> Wait. That's it? No more backstory? No more jingles? Tell me there's a gift shop. I want a pressed penny. Still all here? Still all here. Round up, round up, get over here! 